pillowcase he was wearing. Harry Potter is valiant and bold. He has braved so many dangers already. But Dobby has come up to protect Harry Potter to warn him. shook his head, his eyes wider and ebbed. Well then, I can't think who else would have a chance of making all good things happen at Hogwarts, said Harry. I mean, there's Dumbledore for one thing. You know who Dumbledore is, don't you? Dobby bowed his head. Albus Dumbledore is the greatest headmaster Hogwarts has ever had. Dobby knows it, sir. Dobby has heard Dumbledore's powers rival those who, of he who must not be named at the head of his strength. But, sir, Dobby's voice dropped to an urgent whisper. There are powers Dumbledore doesn't, powers no decent wizard. And before Harry could stop him, Dobby bounced off the bed, seized Harry's desk lamp, and started beating him several rounds to head with ears flaming yelps. 
A sudden silence fell downstairs. Two seconds later, Harry's heart thudding madly heard Uncle Vernon coming to into the hall, calling, Dolly must have left his television on again, the little type. Quick, in the closet, hissed Harry, stuffing Dobby in, shutting the door, and flinging himself onto the bed just as the door handle turned.